Good morning, it's me, Cam K from Quack Talks, and you're watching Quack TV because why watch crap TV when you can watch Quack TV? Me, Cam K, and today's guest, before I bring her on, we've never met before. How grand's that? Good old contact and client of mine has put us in touch, and she's on the show. And it's the first time we've met, so you know what I'm going to be like with my bloody questions. So if you are watching live, please do jump in the comments and say good morning to me. And if you are watching on replay, please put hashtag replay in the comments because I like to know who stalks me. And if you are watching live, honestly, please do say hello. I do like to know who's watching. We've got a few people watching already. And you could be watching this live via my Facebook page, Quack Talk, where you can share it far and wide. You could be watching this live in the Duck Pond, my private Facebook group. Or you could be watching replay on LinkedIn. Not, yeah, sneak peek on LinkedIn. Or you could watch a replay on YouTube. Oh, good morning, Chelsea White. Me and Chelsea I had a lovely chat until about one o'clock this morning last night. Good old two hour long chat. What can we say? Good morning, Facebook user. I don't know who you are, meaning that at the very top of this video, you need to go and click the little more button, and then you need to click the thing that allows StreamYard for me to see your name. Otherwise, just drop your name in and I'll know it's you. Either way, you can do both. Good morning, Ernie Boxall. Be gentle with her, Callum. Be gentle. Oh, I'll be gentle. Honestly, they're making this sound like I'm about to bloody talk to you, aren't they, Jenny? Jesus Christ. So, as we know, every morning on Quack TV, I go for a normal spiel of stuff. So it can be days of the year, Google Trends, weird and wonderful news, and everything else in between. But before I do that, good morning, Cara with a K. How are we, my lovely? Hope you are well. Honestly. I'll tell you what, actually, before I dive into this. Mr. Quackers, right, last night. Good old, the good old wife, right? And I rang Cara to tell her this. So we was talking about ages, and I'm 25, I turn 25, and in the gay world, right, once you turn 30, apparently you're dead. That's beyond end all. In gear world, once ten thirty, you're dead. So it's um oh actually it's a good re way of me saying that because actually I've just said that when it's Lee. Um sorry Lee. Um so yes, it's apparently in gear world when you turn thirty, you're dead. And he went, oh well, you're twenty five. I went, all right, cheers for reminding me. I went, you're twenty five this year in September as well. I went, yeah, but then you're twenty six, and then technically you're in your late twenties. If I say that I nearly threw him in the river in a bag with loads of stones in the bottom of it. Um, I really nearly did. Late 20s, the fucking audacity. That's all I'm saying. So anyway, um, there we go. Days of the year, people. So I like to go through the different days of the year. Every day of the year either has one or several themes, or we have weeks of the year, and so on and so on. So today, a lot of you might be happy to hear this, it is World Sleep Day. Have them naps. Have a line if you've not had one already. Maybe go to bed a little bit earlier. Get some extra sleeping. It's also poultry day. The meat you should be eating today is poultry. If you're vegan, have some fricking because it's not chicken. There we go. We'll go with that. That keeps everyone happy, doesn't it? It's also chocolate caramel day. Do you know what? I really went off caramel. The only caramel I like now is like the cabbage chocolate buttons with caramel in. I feel like it's just enough caramel. There we go. It's also clients day. Celebrate them clients. Show your appreciation. And it's also International Read Me Day. If you said that to me, that means that I'd just throw some Ill insults to you. I would read you. There we go. And then your Twitter hashtags. I like to go through the Twitter hashtags, which are weird and wonderful sometimes. It is Red Nose Day. It is Comic Relief Day. So hashtag Red Nose Day. It's also Friday Feelings. So hashtag Friday Feeling. Hashtag Friday Morning. It's also hashtag World Sleep Day. That is trending as well. And hashtag Friday thoughts. So hashtag Friday thoughts, hashtag Friday morning, hashtag Friday feeling, hashtag world sleep day, and hashtag red nose day, which is also trending alongside hashtag comic relief. So do with them as you will. I've not looked at these. You know, Cara, I mean, James wasn't wrong. Shut up, Cara. Like, honestly, why? And James's birthday is in septem September. I hope you don't watch this on replay. Um... And then, yes, it is Red Nose Day. And what the fuck read me there? Yes, Cara. What the fuck read? I can read you all day, love. So anyway, with no further ado, people, because today's show will have to be a little bit shorter because apparently I've got a business to run. <laughs> Who knew? So today's guest, you know, like I said, we've never met before. However, I do know that Jenny wants to discuss several things about starting a business and how difficult it can be. But also she is an accountant. So make sure that you... In the comments, give us a warm welcome. I've never met this lady before. You know, give, give her your blessing. She's going to be on the show with me. Um, good morning, Jenny. Good morning. Thank you for having me. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Good, thank you. When I say we had a brief chat, I mean, literally, 
we had a brief chat and then I was like, right, we're going live. Bye. <laughs> yep, yeah, that was pretty much it. <laughs> oh, good. So, Jenny, um, I, you might not have seen the show before because obviously our contact did put us in touch with each other. Um, mm. So, just so people know who you are and what you do, who are you and what do you do? So I am Jenny Leatheran and I run JLL Accountancy and Admin. We are a, uh, I say we, I am a chartered accountant with over 20 years experience in both accountancy and admin. So when I set up my own business, I decided it was probably a better idea to offer everything so that people haven't got to go to different places for the different things that they need. So it's kind of a one stop shop. Um, and our little slogan is taking the hard work out of the paperwork. Oh, I like that. Nice, oh, isn't it? So, but obviously, you, one of the things you actually did just say to me was like, "Man, eh, we could talk about accountancy, but that's boring. That's boring. Mm. You know, yeah. we'll, we'll dive into it, obviously. But, yeah. uh, you know, you, you wanted to talk about, so when everyone comes on the show, I get them to fill in a little form. You wanted to talk about the struggles of being, you know, a new business and how to deal yeah. with it. So yeah. how, what made you want to talk about that? You know, are, are you a new business? How long has your yeah. business been going? So I started trading officially in December. Um, so really, really new. And I kind of I've found I think I've gone through everything that um, every new business owner goes through. You know, there was a period of I can't do this. There's a period of I can't pay the bills. There was a period of um, just everything going on. You know, I've got family. Um, I have some health issues. Amusingly, I actually say amusingly. I don't know if it is funny, but I actually have um, CFS, which is chronic fatigue syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> so basically means that I spend my entire life tired. Um, so National Sleep Day is actually quite a, a nice one for me because, you know, sleeping is just something that I I can go through periods where I have to take afternoon naps. I can go through periods where I'm good. I always try and get sort of nine to ten hours sleep a night as it is. But obviously, when you're trying to start a business alongside that, it's it's just another another struggle and I think it's a lot more common than people think having um Emmy and it's it's something that's very um misunderstood yeah. you know you get the you're being lazy you just get out of bed kind of thing and it's not you know it's, well, it's not very like fitting that. for today like Cara said isn't it really? well yeah. free there. like in like so fitting but do you know what obviously so I probably will keep saying it in case people jump in and out you know we've mm. we've never like you know keep saying we've never right. met I started with a retail business, you know, mm. I, I, I earned several and it, it's hard, you know, yeah. it's it really fucking hard. And mm. I know when people go, oh, starting any businesses, I'm not denying that aspect. Yeah. But when you are, comp you know, if you can remember them early days for anyone, you know, mm. like to anyone watching, you know, if you can remember your early days in business, right at the beginning, yeah, it's exciting. But my God, you apparently are shitting yourself because you're mm. like, have I done the right thing? Am I doing this right? Have I got all the right things? Have I got this? Have I got that? Have I got this? And it's so, so hard. But my Christ woman, right? During, you know, a thing called a pandemic, right? Mm. I know many people started a business and I am a big believer in people starting a business in this pandemic. I think if there was ever going to do it, do it now. You know, if yeah. you ever could, do it now. How, yeah. Why was now the right time for you? Um, well, I was made redundant in September um, yeah. and it's all my husband's fault, really. He turned around to me and said, look, you know, you've done all these exams. You've done all this studying is now not the perfect time to stop working for other people and start working for yourself. You know, I'm kind of I'm lucky to be in an industry that is almost pandemic proof. You know, yeah. you still need an accountant. You've got landlords that are still letting properties, pandemic or not. Um a lot of businesses have managed to make it through. There's a lot of new startups, like you say, a lot of people that are taking that leap now. And I think because for an awful lot of people, myself included, our hand was literally, we were held to ransom that it was a case of do something and do it quickly. Nowhere was hiring. So I was fortunate enough to have a set of skills that I could turn into my own business. Love it. And how have you found it? How have you found it? I know you said it's December. How have you found it so far? Oh, it's... I don't really know the way there's been period like I said there's been periods where I've just been like I can't do this and I've started applying for jobs and things thinking let's just go back to where, where someone else has to worry about paying the bills rather than me um but my husband like I said has just been no you're doing this 
Um, bless him, he put the word out to everybody he knew. Um, managed to get a couple of big clients through him. So that's kind of made things easier. Put myself out there on Facebook. And I've got a couple of really nice subcontract gigs that are bringing in enough money for us to keep going. So I've been really, really fortunate. But it is just such a worry all the time, isn't it? It's just like, what if they don't pay me? What if something happens? And, you know, there's there's just permanently that worry there, isn't there? Yeah, there really, really is. You know, I've actually been speaking a lot about this the past couple of weeks. Um, I've finally, you know, nearly in a situation where I can actually move city and rent a, a very nice apartment. You know, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm finally getting to that point. Have I, gra- have I grafted my ass off for it? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have I sacrificed a lot for it? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And have I doubted myself throughout the whole thing? Absolutely. You know, yeah. it's whether I've got, you know, clients paying me every month that I'm working with every month, does that mean that I still stopped out myself? No. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it, it doesn't. There's, you know, you can have all the income protection you want. You can have all the health insurance. You, you know, you're like, if I thought, if I go in sick, you know, I can be with the WPA. I can be with all the health services. No matter what happens, it's, you know, it, you, you will always be like that. But it mm-hmm. won't, it'll get to a point where it stops being so loud. You know, you'll get to a moment where you're like, oh, I've got much work coming in at the moment. Oh, I've not I've not signed up a new client for a while. And that's the reality. You know, there's no beating around the bush coming from a business coach, et cetera. You know, that that, that doesn't go away, but that's normal. Mm. You know, and it, it doesn't. You know, for example, actually, it was a couple of people in the comments. Um, Chelsea was helping me look at apartments, the one with the brick walls. Chelsea White, for example, she has a couple of businesses. She's inundated at the moment. I know facts with Chelsea that if she got to a point where she got to the end of her orders and she had to an extent on the money she got now, she might start being like, oh, shit. Mm. Like, you know, it, it is so yeah. normal. Um, But, you, you know, with you saying, you know, worrying about it, the main thing for me was when I was uh, started my business at the age of 2021, 20, um, I had a business partner at the time. We're still fantastic friends. Something went wrong with the finances somewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I was making money to meet an end just to make sure my business loan was paid every month. Yeah. And... It wasn't until really the past couple of months I've kind of realized I've still got that loan. I'm still paying it, people. That's the one stress I've had every month where, you know, if I've had a quiet month, that's the thing that niggles at me. I need to pay that loan. I need to be able to do that. And it's difficult. It's really, really difficult. But it does get easier. But you will always have that little voice niggling in the back of your head. Like you always will. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the the whole... Well, what if I lose one of these clients? You know, like I said, I've got these really nice two um, subcontract gigs that pay me, you know, a, a healthy amount of money. And if I was to lose one of those, it could absolutely be the difference between being able to carry on and not being able to carry on. Um, so that's, you know, but it's the same, I think, in, in any industry like mine that's a, a service industry as opposed to a product industry. Um, you know, we we have to put the hours in to get the money out. And I know you guys do as well in retail. Obviously, those orders don't make themselves. No. Um, but, you know, an, an, an order for sort of five pounds is is very, very different to a client for us that is worth, say, 500 pounds a month, of which I've got a couple. So if I was to lose one of those clients, you know, and it just, I, I also suffer from um, anxiety and depression. Yeah. So the the anxiety just hits the roof every month when I see my phone ring and it's one of the clients. I always think, oh, we've got the phone to cancel. <laughs> it's, it's very rare, personally. You know, I'm I, I'm saying this out loud, but you know, I'm not meaning it for everyone. I think if you could find a business owner mm. that's been in business for less than ten years that doesn't have some form of anxiety or depression, you know, that 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 would be a rare find a yeah. really rare find. Um, I struggle with anxiety. I can dip into depression every now and again, mm-hmm. dip into it. But it's just one of them things. But look, let's look on the brighter side. Where yeah. do you want to be in 12 months' time? With oh. this, they keep your clients, you get more clients. Where do you yeah. want to be in 12 months' time? That's what we we'll um, want to look at. So the big plan for 12 months' time is um, my own office. Uh, so obviously at the moment I'm in the living room um, and it, it's not ideal. I've got the TV that just is distracting isn't it my husband's like oh don't turn it on don't turn it on and I'm like "Mm, yeah I know but you know so the plan is my own office the plan is a team the plan is you know enough fee income that 
even if we did lose two, three, four, even five clients, that things are still okay. Love it. So just need more clients. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So, you know, it's obviously one of them. And that's what this video is for. And this is why I do this. This is why I do this for people like you, where it's like, hi, I'm here. I exist. Go and help yeah. me so I can actually live. Like, you know, and this is why I put it onto YouTube. It's there forever. And it'd be mm. great for you, for example, for in 12 months time to come back and look at this video. You know, yeah. it'd be like, look at how I was then. How am I now? You know, yeah. it's, it's, how is it? It's, it's one of them things. Um, but I think with your drive and with your husband behind you, you're absolutely going to kill it i really think you are but it's really nice to get the rawness from people that are new in business especially that started out during covid never mind normally and yeah. you know it, it's fabulous oh chelsea's giving us some tips because i chelsea is one of my clients so let's see what she's yeah. saying the best background noise for working is radio it's less distracting and you can dance it out if you, when you need to fabulous funnily enough yesterday i had a soundtrack day um, so I didn't have the television on and I had the soundtracks on Alexa instead. And uh, we had a day <coughs> of The Greatest Showman, followed by Bohemian Rhapsody, followed by Mamma Mia. So, you Love know, it. every single different thing you can imagine in there. <laughs> Love it. Jenny, thank you so much for coming on the show. Don't thank rush you. off straight away. I'll have a real quick natter with you backstage. Okay, and I'll thank you. You soon. All right. Lovely. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Oh, that was nice. I like meeting new people. But whoever to come on, like, told to come on first of all, thank you. But secondly, please tell me you give her a heads up at what I'm like. Like, because we do need to do these disclaimers. No, she didn't, apparently. I hope I was all right, love. Christ. So there we go, people. That has been Quack TV for this week. And on Monday, when it loads up for me, because it's going really slow, we have got... Bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. We have got... Oh, who have we got? We've got Diane Brassington on Monday, people. Oh, it's going to be fancy. But don't forget the 29th. Week commencing the 29th, we have got Coaches Week, where we've got myself, Brad Burton, Taz Thornton, Cross Crosley, and Fidel, Fidel Burhill all on, on the same week. And when I'm on the show, I mean Cara Wood, you know, the one and only one that's like here, housewarming. Like, you know, Cara Wood is interviewing me. Cara over here is interviewing me. And I am, she's doing the full shebang, right? The full thing. It's still Quack TV because it's Cara over here. So there we go. But on that note, everybody, have a fantastic day. Have a fantastic weekend. And in the words of Banana, if you can't be good, be careful. If you can't be careful, don't get caught. <laughs>